Yes, today I'm going to be showing you how to run SMS automations using Textlink plus mail.com. In this tutorial, we're going to go over some basic stuff such as triggering actions when you receive a message and actually sending a message using Textlink single API. So let's start. First, what you want to do is create the custom webhook. I've explained this in a previous tutorial and I'm going to link it below. And we're just going to use Textlink test uh, just to make sure this works. I'm going to copy this, go back to your TextLink account, and set this as an endpoint for the record. We're just going to redetermine the data structure just to make sure. Save this and test our hooks. Yeah, great, it's working. So now we're going to move on to the second part, which is actually using mail.com with TextLink to send an SMS. What you want to do, you want to go to HTTP action, and you want to make an HTTP request. So now what you're going to do, you're going to log into your TextLink dashboard. You're going to go to SMS API tab. This will open all of the specs that you have to know in order to use TextLink's SMS API. Copy this link, go back to your make page, paste it here. What you want to do is you want to run a post, not the get method. You actually have two headers, like it's the same as in specification here. First one is content type. So let's do that. Value is application JSON. So that's the first one. Second header is authorization. Now this is going to be your API key. So what you're going to do, you're going to type, type bearer in one space. And then go back to your dashboard, go to API Hooks tab, and copy your master API key. And just paste it here, like this. Now, for body type, what you want to do is select your all. And then for content type, you want to select the JSON. Okay. Now, if you look at our API specs, we have three things that you can send. So it's phone number, this is 93. This is the number that you want to receive your message. Text is the body of the message. And SIM card ID is if you want to use a specific SIM card to send this message. We're not going to use this for now since we have one device, but let's set this up. So what you want to do is create a JSON object like this. Phone number is the first parameter. This is going to be receive SMS online, so we can actually show this works. This one. Actually, for, for text link, you're going to need to put plus in front of these, like, like that. And second parameter is text. So text, yeah. And for text, let's say we just send some link or something. Let's do text link, sms.com plus mail.com configuration. This is just to show you that you can send any type of content with text link. So yeah, now we have a message body, we have all of the necessary headers, everything, and okay. So now, when we go back to our dashboard and we trigger this webhook, where we just press test webhooks, that should trigger this, which will send a message to TextLink. Or not to TextLink, but to this number. Now let's actually test that. Save this, run once. Go back to your dashboard, test webhooks. Okay. And it's done. Headers, status code 200, everything seems okay. We go back here, audit messages. As you can see, the message has indeed been sent. And the link has been sent without any issues. So yeah, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Hope this helps you and see you next time. Bye.